Okay, so today we are going to learn about uh, you know the prop means means as okay. So let's talk about the prop means what it is. So it basically you know uh, get you some default statistics of your data set, and uh, it will give you the statistics of uh, you know different uh, numeric variables. Only. I wanted to find out how many missing values are there in my data set. I want to find out how many non-missing values some you know standard deviation some uh, variance some percentile mean min max anything if you wanted to find out for our data sets numeric variable we can find it with the help of prop means okay so what we can do we can just run a simple code before that we i just wanted to you know let you know we have a simple data set in our ss help library which is there are so many different data sets so we are going to use one of them which is my favorite and that is cars so you can see there are total 428 different rows and 15 column in this data set. Okay. So if you look the data, look at the data, you can see meet, model type, origin, drive time. These all are the you know, numeric, sorry, character variables. And these are the different numeric variables, MSRP, invoice, engine size. Okay. So let's see if I apply prop mean on this data set, what output I will get by default. Okay. So this is simple code prop means okay and uh, write down data equal to says help dot cars if we simple apply this you know, two line of code on this data set you will get the entire information of this says dot cars completely okay so what all information we will get let me zoom so you can you know see i get different variables okay these are correct sorry numeric variables msrp invoice engine size cylinder so these are different numeric variables and what are the level applied to any of these variables like we had this engine size but the level applied to this variable is level size in bracket l okay so if you can see there are no missing value in our data set or in any of the numeric variable of my data set so we can see the complete 428 428 rows if i can see cylinder is missing for two different variables or two different rows so if we want to find out what are the two different rows we have in which we don't have cylinders? We can just write in a very simple code data. We can work dot cars set says help dot cars. There, let me check the spelling if I'm writing it correctly or not. Um, okay, we have cylinders. I was writing it incorrectly. The cylinders is equal to dot. Because it is a numeric variable, so for missing values, it will have a dot sign. If you run this code, you can see there are two different rows. Let me zoom out two different rows which are having missing values in cylinder. Okay. So we can just you know, simply find out by using a simple prop mean code. So these are the default statistics generated with the help of prop means. Let me again rerun n mean standard deviation minimum and maximum. So it will tell you the MSRP, like we have MSRP, what is the minimum value in the MSRP column for our data set? Similarly for maximum value. Now I wanted to find this for you know different types. We have different types like hybrid, sedan, and uh, you know, wagon. These are different types available in our data set. I want to you know look for these statistics by these types. I want different table by type. So what we can do, we can just you know. Put a simple statement by type over here but if i run this code it is going to give me some error okay you can see this warning sign error is data set says l dot cars is not started in ascending sequence so what first we need to do we, we got the result although but this is not the correct result if you can see there are only one row it is showing for this suv and only five rows for sedan but it is not the case if, if we wanted to you know find out the complete information correctly so first we need to sort the data by type so whatever variable we are putting in the by statement of any prop we, we first need, need to make sure that data is sorted with that variable so what we can do we can just you know write, write prop sort data equal to says help dot cars now there is one more challenge over here is we cannot directly sort this data set help dot cars because this is being provided by the says what we can do we can make a copy of it by creating an out statement 
we can create copy of this data set just deleting five last rows one dot cast by type okay right you can see our data is sorted and we got all 428 rows in work dot cast data set okay and now data is sorted with the help of type variable now if we apply type by type on top means you can see a completely different output so you can see the main procedure is having suv and sedan types and it is giving you oops i'm sorry it was giving the incorrect data again because i have not replaced this as it work i'm applying work dot cast by type okay there is no error you can see the log no error and we got the data in the final output so there are three cars which is having hybrid you know which is the type of hybrid 60 cars is having type suv 262 sedan these are different you know the sports car trucks and wagon and we got final you know statistics of these different variables now if you wanted to you know wanted to check only few of them i i just wanted to get the mean of you know different variables so we don't need to uh, write this code we just need to put means over here sorry mean and we can run this code let's see all the information is wiped out you can see just mean of these different variables now i wanted to you know limit the variables also if i wanted to you know get the mean of this msrp or invoice you can just type that in bare statement msrp and invoice you can see we can we are just getting the mean of msrp and invoice by different type okay so this is the very simple procedure but it is giving a very powerful result and these are these results are very helpful when we are you know analyzing our data so what are other different uh, you know statistics we can get with the help of proc means this is not only like we can get only five stats but we can get different as well like i wanted to find out what is the uh, 95 percentile of you know msrp in this data set we can just write p95 over here on this so you can see the 95th percentile of msrp of hybrid cars is 20510 okay similarly this is for sedan this is for suv and so on so now these are the different you know uh, statistics we can get out of proc means other than that we can get other statistics also let me you know copy and paste those values over here what all we can get so we can get these you know different statistics like n n is for number of observation n is for number of missing observation mean standard deviation mean max sum of observations or sum of values in the observation okay and the median median is basically 50th percentile and we can also get different percentile levels like p1 p5 p10 1995 99, 99 similarly we can also get the quartile the first third and also there are different other statistics we can also get like you know variable uh, sorry variance range uh, standard error prt let me paste those also okay so these are different other statistics we can get in this properties so i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you